Hello Adorable Friends, when you make your videos with DaVinci Resolve, you notice that your computer is lagging, or you realize that it does it only when you're on your laptop, but at home, on your desktop, it's okay. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your videos without lag. So I'll give you two techniques. The first one is going to be to lower the resolution, and the second one is going to be to make proxies. Oh, and by the way, if you want to come diving with us, it's okay. Bali is reopened. So if you want to come see me at Proof Diving, I put a link in the description. So on playback, personally, I'm quite lucky because as soon as I start or stop, right away, it's playing and I'm not missing any frame. You can see here, actually, the green dot shows that I have 25 frames per second, which is the normal playback. But if you have problem with the files on your computer, you have different options to fix it. So option number one, what we want to do is go on playback here. And then on playback, you have timeline proxy mode, and then you can put half or quarter resolution. This is going to be the first fix, and this will help for the playback. But the other option, and the one that will work on all of the files, is going to be to make proxies. So to make proxies, first we want to set it up. So to set up, you want to go here, project settings, or you can go on file, project settings, and then here we're going to change the setting of the proxy media. So here, proxy media resolution, we click here, and then we can go on half, quarter, and even eighth or sixteenth. So let's say we're going to go on quarter for this one. For the proxy media format here, H.264 is fine for me. If you're working on Mac, I recommend you to use ProRes 422. It's going to be the best option. And then optimize media. So DNX HR is fine. And then you want to choose where you want your file to go. So for here, browse. Personally, I want to put it on E. And then proxy. Select folder. And then you save. Then it's quite easy. You're just going to select your files, right click, and then generate proxy media. It's going to take a little time, depending on the files and then on your computer. And then you can use those files, actually the proxy files. And for this, you go on playback and you want to make sure that use proxy medias if available is clicked right here. Then you don't need to do anything special. Naturally, when you're going to work on your project, DaVinci is going to use the proxy to make it easier to compute, but you will not see the difference. The timeline is going to be different, of course, but other than that, everything is going to go smooth. Another good thing about using proxy media is that you can also share them. So that's going to be quite nice because, for example, if you want someone to work on your color corrections, you can just send him the proxy files and also the project. He can work on it and then send you back the project after the correction and you can just link it later. To export, the good thing is, if I want to export here, you can see that my resolution is still the resolution I had before I made the proxies. So. I can just export normally my, my project and it's going to be in the good format. I don't need to unlink or link or do anything special. For the files, the way they're organized, so they're on E, like I said before, and proxy. But then you can see that I have proxy media, underwater, and then I have two folders. One video Philippines 2020 with Darwin and my two files. And the other one is just there. The proxy files will be organized exactly the same way as your normal files were. So that makes it super easy for your computer to relink it. And for you, it may seem a little bit weird because you may have a clip from one folder and another one from another one, but that's the way it is. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. If you liked it, don't hesitate to put a thumbs up. And if you want to see new subjects or things that you are interested in seeing from DaVinci Resolve or anything underwater video related, don't hesitate to put a comment and ask me what you would like to see in the channel. You can also, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be notified with new videos. Bye bye. Happy bubbles.